Welcome to another J Crazy News Headlines and a special Wednesday night to those who are watching this news broadcast. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, today alone, Hanover and St. James have been bloody. Talk about murders, persons shot and injured. But before we go into those stories, let's look at Spanish Town, St. Catherine overall. Look at the screen right now. For the start of May, you have seen where murders are on the rise once again. Persons are being killed, bodies have been found decomposed, persons have been shot and injured. Now, earlier this year, Spanish Town saw a decrease, a decline in crime. But now, it seems as if the gunmen so you know what? Just make Spanish Town, aka Spain Town, hot once again. And now persons in Spanish Town, residents are on the edge because criminals from Spain are looking at other gunmen from different parish and I say, no sir, they are going with things. We could do food thing now. So it's all about competition once again to see who pile up the most bodies and i can tell you right now in spain town residents are on the edge once again for the few little months where residents law abiding got little peace and rest from major shootings and murders they are now once again on their toes and they're looking and being paranoid. The police in Spain Town need to do something before it spiral out of control again. Or J Crazy gotta go on a mission. Once again and expose the criminals who wanna make Spanish Town hot again. Now we head towards Clarendon where farmers who raise cows are being slaughtered by gunmen. Now, on Tuesday afternoon, a farmer who raised cow was shot and killed in a place called Kirato Hill in Clarendon. Now, based on information, Joseph Peters, who is age 62, left home on Tuesday morning in the same community to go and look after his cows around 6 a.m. in the morning. Now, around 2 p.m. in the afternoon, his body was discovered by other farmers along the roadway in the same community with multiple gunshot wounds. The police were called to the scene on arrival. Investigation went underway. And after investigation, discovered that Joseph Peters had multiple gunshot wounds to his upper body. There's no motive as yet as to why Mr. Peters was shot and killed by a gunman. But however, I believe that men came posing as customers and instead of buying cows, they came to slaughter this man. Sad case, people, that persons cannot be productive in Jamaica. Persons cannot be positive and grow themselves in the right way without being watched and killed by criminals. Way towards Max Hill Avenue in a place called Q Lane in Max Hill Avenue where this morning a man was shot and injured by gunmen at a funeral. Now based on information this man was in the funeral of an infant who died. He was outside the church when loud gunshot explosions were heard. Persons had to run for cover. After the smoke was clear, this man was seen suffering from gunshot wounds. Taken to the place of recovery, where his injuries are unknown at the moment. The police are investigating. And my viewers, you see where Maxwell Avenue in Kingston is tense because of different areas warring. Different gangs are having beef. So, persons who are criminal elements. I am begging you, do not attend funerals. 
do not go in public places if you know you have beef with rival gangsters or rival gangs. Stay away from the public because you are hot, you are targeted, and you, because of your unruly criminal ways, you're gonna get innocent persons who are involved either shot and killed or shot and seriously injured. If you're a gangster or gunman and you have beef out of road, tan a yard. Thankfully, other persons wasn't caught in this shooting. But it's obvious that this man who was shot is a violence producer. Again, I say to criminals, if you have beef with rival gangsters, rival gangs, rival communities, stay clear away from the public. Go in hiding. Do not with yourself with other persons who are innocent because of your criminal nature other persons the life of others are placed in danger now you're seeing where the gunmen are cooling off country areas they're cooling off country parishes and now they're targeting Kingston and St. Andrew when it comes down to robberies. Now earlier today, my viewers, Pavilion Jewelers, were robbed by six gunmen who were dressed as security. That's right, six gunmen dressed as security guards. Now these gunmen made off with jewelries, appliances, and money. Now based on information, it's alleged that one person was also abducted. The police are investigating. Now we head towards Green Island in Hanover, where last night another taxi man was shot and killed and a female passenger injured by a gunman traveling on a motorcycle. Now my viewers and my subscribers, it's up in another place called Dwango Tree in Green Island, Hanover. The same place, just 10 days ago, where a taxi man who is known as Randy, aka Gundog, was shot and killed. The same location. Now, based on information, taxi man who is his 40s, who is known as Marlon McIntosh, or them call him Marvin, was a location in Green Island where gunmen with a motorcycle and start firing shots hitting Marlon out of the body but the female passenger was shot and injured after which the gunman escaped successfully on that motorcycle but the police were caught to the scene and both to the hospital where Marlon McIntosh was pronounced dead the female however is in hospital nursing serious gunshot wounds so far there's no motive as to why marlon mcintosh aka marvin was shot and killed in green island last night the police are investigating now we head towards montego bay st james where three different incidents happened in one day today yeah man three different crime scene happen today now my viewers this man around 7 40 pm a 12 year old girl shot and injured by a gunman on a motorcycle now this young lady attended william nib high school now based on information it happened in a place called somerton now this 12 year old female already went on a motorcycle when gunmen rode up beside them on next motorcycle and start spray shot just like that now back in Mount Salem St. James Montego Bay this afternoon a popular meat shop owner who is known as Clive Lawson was shot and killed in Mount Salem around 4 30 pm now based on information Mr. Lawson was outside his business place when gunmen drove up in a vehicle and start firing shot 
Mr. Larson was shot more than once. So the police were called to the scene and Mr. Larson was pronounced dead. Now, this shooting took place in Crawford Street, the same place where on Monday the two young men were shot and killed, Enel Donor and also Butty. The police are investigating. Now there's a curfew in Mount Salem and persons are being still murdered, not to mention a Zozo. Something alright? And it shows that the Zozo or the curfew ain't helping, not to mention a possible SOE once again. I don't know. I'm just gonna call it SOE, which to me makes no sense. It is of no use. Criminals get used to these crime fighting tactics that they have become very useless. Now we head towards a place called Canaan Adelphi Dumfries in St. James. But this morning, two men were murdered. Now my viewers and my subscribers, those men alias are known by poor man and also murdered them. Now the two men were sitting in that location when this morning around 9.30 pm, two armed men walk up and start firing shots. Now the two men were hit, one succumbed to injuries on the scene, the next one to the hospital where he too was pronounced dead. Now based on information, these two murders is a reprisal for last month of the murder in Dumfries at a party where Manuela's gold ball and also Blazer was shot and killed at that point. The police are investigating. This is Jay Christmas once again. Until then, have a blessed and safe Wednesday night. I may mean, represent for Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. So watch, like, comment, subscribe, and share out the thing. Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements as well. J Crazy not play when he might review the thing. Then J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements as well. J Crazy not play when he might review the thing. Then review the thing. Then review. Do the thing Check crazy Reviewing news, entertainment and celebrity lifestyle <laughs> Review the thing them, review the thing them Check crazy, crazy.